Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Array Methods 1 in part 2 of Module 1. Gotta write a function called getEnthElement. Now, since arrays are zero indexed, it's, it might be confusing about whether we want the nth or the nth minus 1 or the nth plus 1 or some kind of weird situation like that, but it, we're, we're not trying to trick anybody on this one. All we want you to do is understand that to access an array, you access the array's elements using indexes. And all we're looking for here is just return array at n. So nothing complicated, no need to try to, you know, minus one or plus one to get the right idea. Uh, as you see in this piece of code right here, this is the index, this is the value at the index, here's that being returned. So array at n, at return, and we're in great shape. Get first element. So a couple of ways for us to do this. Um, one thing you'll note is that if the given array has a length of zero, it should return undefined. Let's take a quick look at something in the console. We're going to create a real quick array. We're going to say uh, it's empty, so it has a length of zero. And let's try to access the eighth element. Let's try to access the zeroth element. Which is nice, because we're not going to need to put in the edge case verification. And by edge case verification, we mean things like if something, do something else. And this is going to make more sense when we get to problems later on in this module, but sometimes there'll be a number of edge cases that you want to sort out first. An edge case is basically a situation where you don't have to do what the function describes. You just recognize that an input to the function is either incorrect or of a special type, and you return a value without really doing any operations. So let's close the console and have a look at this. A couple of ways we can do this. One, because we know arrays are zero indexed, we can return array at zero. That's going to work. Another is that we can, um, there's a method called, I think it's, what is it? Unshift? Something like that? Let's mess with it for a moment. Array.unshift. That's not a way to do it. Variable returned is equal to array.unshift. And this might not work. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think unshift might return something kind of weird. Uh, but let's see if this works. Error, try it again. Deeply equal one. Uh, you know what, forget everything that I just said about all of that stuff. Let's go ahead and revert back to the original version, which we had, which was nice. Return array at zero, that's gonna be the first element, and cool. So let's not worry about unshift until later. Get last element. So, back to the console, because we have to look at something real quick. So variable array is equal to one, and let's actually, um, We'll put this at zero. So we'll say one, zero, two, zero, one, two, three, four. And let's say array at four is the last element, and array dot length is equal to five. So let's adjust this. We'll put a few more in there. And then we'll say array at six is the last element, and array dot length is seven. Now, you may have been able to get the pattern from this, and if not, that's cool, we'll just tell you. Essentially, one less than the length is always the last value of an array, and we know that because it's zero indexed. So this makes things convenient. We can say something like return array, and then the, uh, ex we're gonna access the array specifically, let's say, we'll call it last index. And this is called wishful programming. We're assuming that we're gonna be able to come up with something called last index, and we can. So we'll say variable last, index is equal to array dot length minus one. Then we return array at last index. Excellent work everyone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.